A few weeks ago, I made videos comparing Darktable with other photo editors. At the time, I said that one of Darktable's best feature is the Lua script module. I still believe that and what I'm going to share with you today is a proof of why it's so powerful. Basically, I've made a Lua script that uses AI to do things within Darktable. I've called it the AI toolbox because it doesn't just do one thing, it performs three different tasks. But don't get too excited because this tool cannot do things like select subject or select sky. Actually, I'm not even sure this plugin is useful, but I think playing with AI is fun. So if you want to know more, in this video, I will demonstrate what this plugin is capable of. And if there is enough feedback, I will make another video explaining how to install and configure it. So if that sounds good for you, let's go. I know some people don't like AI, so before we start, I just want to say a few things. So like it or not, AI is here to stay. Big tech is investing billions in it, so it's not going anywhere. Personally, I think AI is overrated, but I also think that there are some useful applications right now and there will be more in the future. A good example of AI that is useful right now is this video. I'm not even real. I'm just kidding, but what I mean is if you watch this video with subtitles, they have been generated within Kidin Live using AI. This is saving me a lot of time. Regarding photography, I also think AI can be useful. For example, there are softwares with tools like Select Sky, so they let you things you could do with other modules, but much faster. But what I don't like are tools like AI Denoise or Retouch because I feel they are like cheating. But I may change my mind in the future as I plan to try these tools and make up my own mind. And this Darktable AI plugin is also a way to make up my mind. So it let me use and understand AI so I can then decide what place I want it to have in my life. Also, in my day job, when I'm replaced by AI in 5 years, I may be able to get a new job because I understand AI because of projects like this. There are three tools in this plugin, but all of them are using Olama in the background. For those of you who don't know, Olama is a tool that lets you run AI models locally on your computer. Some of these models have vision capabilities, so they can see picture and can generate text based on that. Right now, the plugin lets you choose between three models. The first is Gemma, which is an open source, lightweight model made by Google. The tool lets you select different sizes from 4 billion parameters to 27 billion. The second model is Mini CPM V and the third is Lava. I don't know much about these models, but I've included them for testing. You can decide the model you want depending on your hardware, but according to my test, the Gemma model worked the best. So using these models, the Lua script can do three things. First, it can automatically generate tags. The script will prompt Olama to analyze your image to generate these tags. These tags will then be added to your pictures. The second thing this plugin can do is that it will automatically rank your images. Again, the AI will analyze your images and will give them a rating. Then the script will update the rating of your images based on the result. The last thing this plugin does is what I call top pick. Sometimes I come home and I have like 100 identical pictures and it's hard to decide which is best. The top pick tool will analyze these images and decide which is best based on the composition, sharpness and things like that. Between you and me, I like the process of reviewing the picture by myself, but still I think this tool is fun. Now I can ask my AI girlfriend and my real girlfriend which picture is best. The plugin is divided into four sections and the last is settings. These settings are used by all of the three tools. The first setting lets you choose between all the available models. Everything is being run locally and you can run it on a GPU or a CPU. But if you don't have a GPU, you might want to use the smaller model. The same apply if your GPU doesn't have a lot of VRAM. Next, we need to choose settings for the temporary file. The model cannot read raw files, so I'm converting them into JPEG before feeding them to the AI. Again, if you don't have a GPU, you might want to reduce the quality and size, otherwise the AI will take a lot of time to process your pictures. The first AI tool is a tag assistant, so as the name implies, you can select one or more picture and the AI will generate tags. If the image was tagged before, you can use this checkbox so the tag will be deleted before tagging with the AI. 
you can also decide the number of tags you want. I've included this feature, otherwise the AI might give you 20 tags, but the last 15 won't make any sense. Now, just to give you an example, I can select this picture. Uh, then I can select the number of tags I want. I will make sure my settings are fine, so I want to use the biggest model. And then I can press generate. Now the AI will do its things, and once done, the picture will be tagged. And just so you see, there are currently no tags to these pictures. Okay, so tagging is completed. So let's see what we got. So I will just uh, increase the size a little bit. So the first picture was a lighthouse. Uh, as you can see, we got a coastal lighthouse, long exposure, rocks, sunset. So honestly, I think uh, this makes sense. And uh, next we had a bald eagle, bird, nature, tree, wildlife. Makes sense as well. Uh, bald eagle, bird. Flight, nature, wildlife. Uh, again, uh, whoops, sorry. Bald eagle, bird, blue sky, flight, wildlife. So uh, honestly, I think it did a, a great job. The second tool is similar to the first, but for rating. So you can select one or more picture and the AI will give them a rank. There is also a menu where you can select how strict the AI will be. As an example, we can select this picture, uh, make sure our settings are fine and click on generate. Okay, so rating is completed. So let's see what we got. So the first picture got a four star. I'm very disappointed. So I was expecting a, a five for this one. Next again, I got the four, four and four. <laughs> so uh, the AI I think I'm just uh, okay. So I'm very disappointed. I was expecting uh, to get a five everywhere. And just for fun, let's say I select these images again. And instead of Clement, I will say rigorous. So let's see if it gives me the same result or uh, if I get the lower score. Okay, so rating is completed. So if I look, I got four again, four again, four again, and four again. <laughs> so uh, regardless of the strictness, uh, the AI gave the same result. So maybe this module need a little bit more uh, fine tuning. So just to give you an idea of what's happening in the background, so uh, this is the log file. So basically, this is the prompt I'm sending to the AI. So I'm asking it to uh, review the images so and give it a 5 if it's very good, 4 if it's good, 3 if it's okay, and so on. So uh, every time I got uh, I got 4, so I believe the AI think my picture are only good. <laughs> okay, the third tool will let you select the best picture among many, and the images that are not selected will automatically be rejected. In the settings, you can decide if you want the language model to select the picture based on the balance, sharpness, composition, color, light, or emotion. So for example, let's select balance. And these are pictures I took uh, this morning in the backyard. So there was a bird. Sorry, I forgot the name in English. But yeah, there was a bird fishing in the lake. So these pictures are almost identical. So uh, I will select them and I will ask the AI to choose one of them. Okay, so it's done and the AI decided that this picture is the best. So honestly, they look uh, all the same to me. So I will trust the AI on this one. All right, so if you think this plugin is useful or fun, let me know in the comments and I will make a video about how to install and configure it. Also, don't forget to give me a like because this type of video takes a lot of time to make. So I need a lot of time to uh, write the script, test it and all that. So that's it for me. See you next time.